Hey there, it's Mike Wise with Capstone Direct Mortgage and your weekly mortgage update. Interest rates have gone up even further. What is happening? So we have the highest interest rates that we've had in uh, at least 12 years at this point in time. And uh, we're quoting interest rates right around 6% on a 30-year fixed rate mortgage. So what happened this week to show those interest rates going up? Well, on Tuesday, the CPI, the Consumer Price Index, came out uh, for the month prior, and it was hotter than expected, and the bond market did not like that. It shot the prices of bonds down, interest rates, uh, mortgage interest rates higher, and uh, it came in month over month, the numbers came in at 0.1%, and they were actually projecting a negative 0.1% growth. So they were 0.2% off on the month over month numbers. And then year over year, it was at 8.3% and they were expecting it to be at 8.1%. So higher than expected. The increases that the Fed has done in the Fed funds rate have not had the impact that they've wanted it to have, but we will start to see that impact come into play. I'll show you in just a second. On Wednesday, the producer price index or PPI came out and that was actually down a little bit. That helped kind of uh, soften the blow of interest rates and uh, we didn't see as big of a, a, a move on Wednesday. On Thursday, that was what you may not have actually seen, but we averted a, uh, a railroad uh, strike. So that railway strike could have closed down all of the trains across the nation, which would have a huge impact on uh, kind of the, the supply chain and flow of goods and services across the United States. And that would have been a major, major impact. But we, we got past that, they solved that issue, and so that was a big, big uh, save at that point in time. So what does this mean going forward? As I've been showing you, uh, you can look at this graph, but basically we are, are, we're gonna have another 30 to 60 days of uh, higher inflation or a heightened inflation. And we're gonna be replacing the 0.4% number that you see in this graph. And once we've replaced that 0.4%, the next month after that, we're gonna be replacing higher numbers. When you're replacing the higher numbers with lower numbers, which we're gonna be at negative growth, we're gonna be put into a recession by the Fed. And so the, you're gonna see negative month over month numbers in the CPI data. And once you're replacing the higher numbers with the lower numbers, you're gonna see inflation start to drop significantly. So in October, November, December, you're gonna see the inflation numbers uh, start to go down and as those inflation numbers start to go down then the interest rates will actually follow that so we do have some good news in the future but it's gonna take 30 to 60 days for us to see interest rates go down even further next week you're actually gonna see the Fed funds rate increase by another three-quarters of a point it actually may go up by a full percentage point next week because they these hot inflation numbers that we've been showing you, uh, they do not want to see those any further. And so they're going to slow down the economy to a snail's pace, uh, actually to into the recession that I think that we're already in. But uh, you're going to see that a three quarters of a point increase, if not a full percentage point increase. Uh, at the end of next week. So how can I help you? A couple of these things, with the higher interest rates, we are still doing the seller paid buy downs. We've had a couple of loans that we've locked in and are currently closing where the seller has actually given 10, 15, $20,000 towards the buyer's closing costs, which we are using to buy down the interest rate. Uh, we can buy it down uh, as much as we can, but uh, we've seen interest rates go down as much as a half a percent or even a little bit more, which will lower your payment and lower the interest rate uh, at the same time. In addition to that, we're looking at actually using a, we have a 15 day closing uh, time frame. We need to get your buyers pre-approved, but once we have them pre-approved, we can actually close your transactions in less than 15 days. We actually closed one this week 
in nine, nine days. So we have that option for you. This is Mike Wise. I will be around this weekend. If you have any questions, please uh, give me a call or shoot me a text, and I'd love to help. Have a great weekend, and follow me on YouTube.